Sesha. Good morning, 15th of September. We're in the middle of week four um, of batch six. It's uh, 2022. And looking forward to hearing from everyone the usual stuff. Um, how, what are you working on? Uh, what have you gotten done? What are you working on today? Any blockers? And I'd love to hear from everyone as well. Um, just one reflection on yesterday's guest talk and something you took from it. So we're going to go around the room and cover everyone. So let's get started. So I want to see a queue of hands. Everyone should speak. Let's keep it uh, keep it in one minute. And I know it may seem annoying. Maybe you don't want to talk, but I can guarantee you we're busy doing the career side. Um, everyone needs to practice speaking. So super important. Practice now in a group of familiar people. Don't have to do it. Um, don't don't do your first group presentation to your new team. So everyone should be speaking. So we're going to start with Natnail Melese. And everyone's going to talk, so just put your hands up. Let's just go around the room. So not nail what you got done yesterday, what you're working on today, blockers, and uh, reflections on Ada's guest talk. Okay, good morning. Uh, I think I'm going to start with uh, my reflection on yesterday's guest talk. Uh, it was really impressive, and uh, I, I, I like the suggestions she gave, and I, like, what I've understood was she really give uh, a really uh, brief and long explanations for a, even for a simple questions. She just gave a brief explanation like uh, a three year old can understand what she was saying. So I, I was really impressed at that. Uh, it takes a lot of time to I think to practice such kind of skills. And uh, yeah, I like her suggestions, her experience and that was about it like yeah and my progress so far uh we had uh, on tuesday we had uh, some group meeting with our study group and that was really great and i had some we shared uh, the our understanding on the concepts on the documents and yesterday i had a few blockers like uh while i'm trying to predict or generate uh, an entity uh, wasn't working well. Uh, it works on the dashboard, on Cohere dashboard, but when I tried to send it with the Python, it just wasn't working like I expected it to. So that so was not, a big... Not, no, sorry, sorry to interrupt. We, we want to keep the overall within one minute. So the point is just a quick overview of how, how things are going. Okay. Yeah, <clears throat> that's about, that was about to finish. And any yeah. blockers? Yeah, the blockers are on the Cohere side. Yeah, uh, I will try that again today. Yeah. Have you and asked anyone like... for help? Have you written your issue on the week four channel? Uh, yeah, I just go go about and search for my for the issue, and uh, I had some ideas or two, so I, I I would work on that and ask if if anything didn't come up. Yeah, so I would just encourage you to post that on the week four channel, just even if nothing else, so that other people know what you're working on. So let's go quickly. There are no hands up, guys. We're going to cover everyone here. One minute. Um, people are showing up late to the stand-up, which is unfortunate. The team was here. And when you get to work, you can't show up one minute late, two minutes late, five minutes late. You need to be here on time. So let's get our hands up. Uh, we're going to do what you got done, what you're working on today, any blockers and reflections on ADA, one minute each, please. So who's next? Gideon? Hello, everyone. Good morning. So yesterday, uh, as it was mentioned, it was the interim submission. So I summarized all my findings into the interim report submission. And also, I managed to complete the GitHub link submission. To And I managed to connect, to connect the Cohere API and just used some example code just to demonstrate how uh, entity extraction and like text classification would work on the Cohere platform. And today I'm planning on uh, like proceeding to task three and actually start working on the prompt engineering part. So yes, that's what I've been doing. Any blockers, reflections on Ada's guest talk? Oh yes, uh, I attended the guest talk and I, I thought it was really impressive how like persistent she was. She mentioned that she 
applied for over like 150 jobs and even though she didn't get uh, an interview with each and every one of them she didn't give up and she she still kept doing it and eventually she was successful and also she told us that we shouldn't undervalue ourselves because yeah people's perception of us like uh, it depends on our perception of ourselves so we shouldn't undersell ourselves so i thought that was interesting thank you thanks uh perfect update thanks gideon wangui uh hello um so yesterday what i was able to accomplish i was able to finish uh, submit the interim report i was able to connect uh, to the Kohia API. I tried connecting to the other uh, APIs that were listed, but I think they were all uh, for payment. I'm trying to figure out the Hugging Face uh, API. Uh, the blockers that I encountered were trying to use uh, GitHub Actions um, to, uh, is it like, to use secrets uh, on GitHub Actions um, and trying to fetch the API key using the secrets and um, I think I'll post that on the on the Slack. Um, what I learned from Ada is that uh, time management is key and it really helps to know what times you're most aware and to plan uh, the activities that you do uh, around that. Perfect. <clears throat> Thanks, Mangui. Uh, not now, Ma Masresha. Uh, can you hear me? Yeah, very well. Good morning. Okay, good morning, everyone. Uh, yesterday, uh, I was able to complete the interim report and my progress as well. Uh, also, I've managed to build an API and test it with the uh, Cohere platform. Uh, one thing uh, I couldn't pass on was uh, due to fine tuning the Cohere, uh, I found uh, some blockers. Uh, the fine tuning needs uh, at least 32 data, but I only have 10 data. So I'm creating my own sample data to fine tune the Cohere platform. That was the main blocker. And today I'll be proceeding with uh, fine tuning activity. That's all. And yesterday's guest talk? Yeah, uh, that was really impressive. Uh, I learned how to hustle and how to be, how to stay perseverance, uh, no matter what. So that, that was really impressive. Thanks. Uh, great update. Thanks. Uh, we'll go to Johans, Johans Samuel. And I want to see some more hands up. We're going to cover everyone and make my life easy uh, by putting your hand up. Otherwise, I have to remember who's already put their hand up. So uh, Johans Samuel. Good morning. Good morning, Johans. Okay, yesterday I did manage to complete my interim tour and uh, set up my DVC and get I can't hear yeah. Johans. Okay. Busy. I'm glad now that. It's better now, yeah. Can you hear me now? Are you running? It sounds like you're running. Yeah, I was out here looking for electricity. I was um, so I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. Okay, so yeah, why, why don't we let's come back to you then, Johans? We'll move on and. I'm using yeah, let, my let's come back to you when you have a better connection. So we'll go to Michael Getachew. Okay, thanks. Uh, we'll go to Michael Getachew. Hello, hello. Hello, everyone. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Good morning. Yeah, uh, to, yesterday have been a pretty fantastic day for me since I have been uh, uh, trying to uh, submit all the uh, interim submission with the reports and the GitHub link also. I have attended the guest talk, which uh, Ada Kibet has uh, raised uh, the flow. Uh, have, have raised a, a good uh, intention about the problem uh, in my mind, and uh, I thought she was 
uh, strong and she was uh, persistent and consistent throughout uh, these two years after graduating from Tin Academy. So uh, I learned from her that we always should uh, uh, update ourselves and make ourselves competitive in the machine learning and AI industry. So that's what I learned from her. Thank you. Okay, thanks, Michael. Uh, Mohammed. So, uh, hi, Mohammed. Yes, good morning. Uh, hope you are so, doing well. So, 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 uh, so uh, yesterday uh, I met uh, with my group. Uh, we had a, a GMeet call and uh, we split most of the tasks and the materials. And uh, we agreed that uh, everyone should go uh with the material with himself and he have to summarize one of the points that we have we have split it and uh yeah uh, all of the group uh participated and um, provide their summaries and uh, it it really went well so uh we <laughs> what are you guys what are you guys learning what are you guys working on uh in task one task 1.1 .1. okay uh uh, specifically task 1.1 .1. uh we, we we managed to split all the tasks uh in task one um, most of the group uh, had one point uh to summarize and to give their opinion about uh, that point and uh, everyone in the group should read their summarization and try to come up with new ideas and uh wrote and try to write uh, their points uh, in the report so uh, I managed to deliver the interim report and uh, I tried to set up my G github uh, with cohere and uh, I faced some blockers but <clears throat> I think it's uh, it's because of the limited time that I have uh, for set up in, uh, the, the github but uh, the main blocker for me in the past few days was uh, the power issues. Uh, we have, you could say, uh, the workers of the electricity uh, firms are going in a strike. So most of the hours uh, were off. So I managed to travel between two places so I could uh, find electricity. So that was the main update from my side. Okay. Any any new reflections on Ada's guest talk? Yes. Uh, yesterday, uh, I really, really was enjoying uh, the talk, but uh, the internet issue uh, that I faced uh, blocked me from watching most of the talk. But uh, in the in the in the, in the specific uh, points that I have uh, gained from the talk was. Uh, time management and uh, do not underestimate your uh, capabilities as a African data scientist. Okay. Um, Thank you. Tell me about the study group. How can we take what you've learned and get others to take part in it as well? So, uh, so uh, my my experience in the study group was um, we have uh, in the first place we have. Uh, to, to do a Gmeet call so that we could uh, f familiarize ourselves with the task and uh, get everybody uh, with a basic understanding of the task. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we have to split uh, the task. And uh, by splitting tasks, uh, every every person should come up with uh, questions that he want to answer in his uh, deliverables for the, for the study group. So uh, I think managing uh, the managing the the study group team uh, is very difficult uh, because yeah. one of uh, the issues is time and the second one is uh, power issues are you willing if people want to set up their own study study group are you willing to share your lessons with them yes absolutely perfect I'll thanks Mohammed. Okay, Thank we'll you. go to Gannett. Hey, good morning. 
Good morning, Anna. Very well. Uh, let me start from uh, Easter Discus. Uh, I had learned a lot from her. Uh, she was tried to share us about the academic experience, industry experience, time management, and stress management. And uh, uh, I learned a lot from her. Uh, and uh, if we when I come to that of the yesterday's challenge uh, submissions, I was trying to submit the reports on, on time, and but the on the guitar part, as uh, all says, uh, I tried to install some of the tools and uh, so on. I have tried also uh, the cover, but it doesn't work. Uh, but I submitted on time. That's also uh, thank you so much. That's Thanks, uh, Margaret. Um, good morning. So my updates about this week. Um, the project is uh, very interesting. Uh, lots of reading and the group works are nice. I uh, learn a lot from them. And yesterday I summarized my findings and submitted. Um, Today, I'm working more on implementation of uh, entity extraction on GitHub with Cohere APIs. And for yesterday, um, Ada's talk was interesting and inspiring. Uh, one thing I learned from her is uh, being aware and owning yourself in new environment settings. Yeah, that's it. Thanks. Thanks, Margaret. Uh, we'll go to Fisesha. Yeah, hello everybody. Uh, can you hear me well? Yeah, we can hear you well. Okay, so uh, by far, this is the most interesting week for me. Uh, I don't know where to start because I, I, I didn't really know these things, these large language models were uh, actually being given to us for free. And I really, I kind of knew about uh, some of these models prior to this uh, week. But uh, I didn't know we can access everything like in this type of way, in this easy, easily. Uh, so when it comes to the progress, uh, I, I I've been I managed to submit the submission. Uh, lots of interesting things I knew. I didn't knew about this large language models and prompt engineering. And for the technical part of things, uh, started by actually. Then there, there's no there, actually there's not quite that much to uh, do in the EDA part of this week's task. So I I tried to uh, pre-process the data in order for uh, the Cohere API to receive the uh, data well uh, because some of the uh, features I think in specifically the new scoring uh, data set uh, there there is. Uh, as I managed to understand, there is some type of uh, pre-processing we need to do in order for the uh, Cohere's large language model to give us a really good result. So I, I in f first I thought the real challenge was uh, communicating with the API and uh, actually being able to send data back and forth. But I come to understand that is not the real challenge. But this also comes to my understanding when I do the, the reading for the interim submission. Because these large language models, as, as I managed to understand, can be used for lots and lots of different things based on our prompts and our in-context learning. So I really wish I understood this prior to actually getting uh, this far ahead in the week because there's, there is so much we can do by pre-processing by only pre-processing their data and giving the required types of formats to this API in order to get the best results we get. So I think the real challenge is how to uh, how to bend and how to pre-process the current data in order for the API to communicate well with the API. And coming to yesterday's uh, uh, presentation by Ada, I think that is really, really nice because uh, I really, uh, I not only think, but I really know deep down inside the best way to uh, to know something is to, or to get some information is by actually, you know, 
you can get this information by trial and error, but when somebody that is already in the field, that has a lot and lots of experience, tells you what is actually happening in the job market, when, the, when you do things in the real world, that is very, very uh, important, I think. And I really, I really appreciate it, and I really hope you uh, guys can manage to bring lots of people with experience to share for us in order for us not to reinvent the wheel. Uh, so that's all. Thank you very much. And I really, uh, I really like this week's challenge. It's really, really nice. Okay, so there's a lot of a lot uh, a lot that Fisesha has said. I want to reflect on a couple of points. Um, one is you, he said that he wished he had had a little bit more time for this week, and I, I would encourage everyone um, not necessarily to review to view the training as a typical training. We're not here to you're not here to get grades. Uh, you're not here to do perfect on every single thing. You're here to get exposed as much as possible to do as much work as you, you can in a short period of time and to get to know each other. Um, but what will happen is when you finish up the training, you not only know all these other people, you have areas that you should develop an interest in. And I would, in the back of my mind, use each of the things that you're being exposed to as a, almost as a prompt for what do I, what do I want to get interested in afterwards? Do I want to keep working on large language models? You guys will be doing a capstone project afterwards. So it's an opportunity for each of you to think about what it is that you want to go uh, deeper into. Um, and so that's one. And I think the second on what uh, the sort of approach that Ada took, she's a couple of years ahead. Uh, she finished a couple of years ago, but there's a lot of other people in the community, um, including a lot of the training that were done. These were developed by Yababel and other 10 Academy graduates. And so these are really just um, the training, the, the weekly training, and also the guest talks are really just prompts to expose you um, to give you different ideas. And when you finish the training, you each of you will need to make a decision on which area, where do you want to go further in your career? Um, and one important thing, another further decision is not only which direction do you want to go on, who do you want to work with and how do you want to approach it? So I would, I would almost always look at those two things. So I'm glad that Ada's guest talk was well received. I'm glad to hear that this week's challenge is interesting. But I would encourage everyone not to view them as sort of a course that has to be finished, you write the exam and then you're done. But to ask yourself, is this something that I could uh, be interested in doing for my capstone project? Is, um, are the tutors that I'm working with or the content that I, I get exposed to, um, are they the types of things that I would like to learn and to teach other people on? And who are some of the other people who are working in the NLP field from the TAN Academy community otherwise? that I could get involved with. So this is um, a great analogy that I heard um, from the guy who started the company Nike, which uh, you guys know the shoes. Um, he said, you know, the point of a company, the point of a company is not to make money, but you need money in order to, um, for the company in order to survive. And the same is true in the human body. The point of the human body is not to make blood, but you need blood to survive. And so the analogy to 10 Academy is the point of our training is not the assignments. The point is the new perspective, the new approach, and the new connections that you make. But we have to do it through the format of these training challenges to make sure that everyone does the work and to give you the opportunity to get to know each other. So don't confuse the training with the point of um, our three to six months together. These are really just uh, prompts and their inputs things to get you started. So with that long speech, we have five more minutes before we go to the hot seat. So um, I'm gonna call on people. Uh, we're going to do Emtinan and then Josias and then Neo Muzika, Neo Mukiza. And I'm gonna call on Adijat and yeah, let's go. Let's go like that. Okay, hello, good morning. Good morning. Hi. Uh, so about this week, uh, I want to agree as this week challenge is very, very interesting. Uh, well, the topic is very interesting. I was really uh, enjoyed really uh, reading about the issues 
uh, or the risk of using LLMs and uh, um, models like it, this, using this all of this data and the bias that can be coded in or... Um, so yes, this was very interesting. Um, I About my work, I have been a bit struggling because I'm not feeling super well, but I managed to um, uh, start basically uh, in, uh, I'm, I'm focusing on Cohere, uh, using Cohere and to uh, got my API key. I am uh, I'm using a, like a, <clears throat> um, I'm writing the a notebook where I can uh, like uh, input my the data to to the Cohere API and and uh, and using uh, I'm I'm figuring it out. I, I haven't managed to use it uh, good well yet. Sorry. <clears throat> about the uh, ada uh talk yesterday yes it was very very um very informative or uh, well it was it was eye opening for me i i realized that i really have i don't uh, have a plan for what to do next really and um i really need to sit down and figure out what i really want and what i have to do uh, um, I mean, after this, uh, hopefully this three months or uh, in the next uh, six months, uh, basically, or further. So I, I really have to like, I, it was like a, a, a point, <clears throat> uh, sorry, it was an opportunity to, how to say, it was like helpful um, to, to give guidelines of what to think about, basically, for me. Yeah. yeah so, I think yeah, sometimes course. I would phrase it as sometimes when you don't even know which questions to ask, it's hard to proceed. And sometimes exactly, it's helpful exactly. if people give you the questions. Exactly. Yes. I Now I know the questions, basically. Yeah. Super. Yeah. Thank, thanks. Uh, Yosias? Yosias? Yeah. Hello. Good morning. Hi. Bonjour. <laughs> Uh, I'm, I'm a bit late. I think you were expecting me to give an uh, update, right? Yes. Uh, so what are you working on? What did you get done? What are you working on today? Any blockers and any uh, new lessons learned on from Ada's guest talk? Um, first, I'm, I'm trying to... Uh, uh, first, I think that the project is, is, is very... I think challenging for me because I think that deep learning is one of my low and uh, but I'm trying to learn from the materials and uh, I think that I can say that I'm learning but since I don't really like reading uh, it's taking time for me to read the material then. but did you um, say you, you don't like reading yeah yeah i prefer watching videos <laughs> that's so. A, so you need to develop that habit because i mean how are you going to you need to you need to at least not dislike reading please that's important yeah i'm trying that's that's and like if if you if you're training someone to run marathon and the guy says i don't like i don't like running <laughs> no but it's a serious point because you're when you start working you cannot always rely upon videos or calls. You need to be able to read. You have to be able to, and this is how the world works, especially the world of work, documents. Yeah. So you have to, you have to at least not be horrible at it or you have to not avoid it. Yeah, I, very, very important skill to learn. I mean, you either you change the world or you change yourself. You can choose which one is easier. I, I, I change myself. Okay. So uh, yesterday, especially, I I tried to work on code here, and uh, I tried to use the API key to to try to extract some some entities, and also I tried to use it on the new scoring data in order to predict the scores. 
but it was a bit difficult for me uh but i i, I did it but the, the fact is i'm working only with with go here for the moment because it's like the other platforms are not free, uh, are not free so uh i can get uh a, a, a api key working for them so for the moment i'm working only with with go here maybe if if someone is able to get an api key working for the others I, so the please person post can. please post that on slack so let's let's wrap up we had we want to spend one minute please post that question on slack because these are the types of things these are the types of questions that are good hopefully people read your comment and respond to it but the response rate has been excellent in this batch so okay um any so briefly any blockers and any one lesson learned from Ada's guest talk? Uh, one lesson learned from the guest talk is that uh, I can achieve any goal that I want to achieve. So, Wonderful. yeah, uh, it's like if if I don't, if, if, if I want something, I just have to work hard and not give up. Thank you. Okay, let's go to Neo Mukiza. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. Okay. Yesterday, I was uh, able to work on the and uh, this uh, interliminary report uh, by reading all those uh, given documents and readings and uh, try to summarize in uh, three pages. Uh, it was hard for me to summarize those <laughs> in just three pages because it was a lot to do. Mm -hmm. uh, I was in the group of Muhammad. We did help each other to get there. Yeah, I managed to submit on time, then started the working with the GitHub. Uh, for the GitHub, I still have a blocker uh, working on coherent API. So. I will try to contact someone who have managed to do it. Yeah, yep. Kasesha just he just posted in uh, the Meet group or the Week Four group, so you can go there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Great. And the guest talk. Uh, he she she uh, she touched every point that I wanted to hear from the start to the end, and how the word is how to get the job and the soft skills that we always ignore. So mm. she was so helpful for me. Okay, thank you. Um, let's go to Adijat. Hi, good morning, guys. Good morning. <clears throat> so uh, yesterday I managed to, uh, well, I managed to submit. I think I submitted in the morning. So, and, uh, that that helped with uh, with me trying to explain to, because this uh, this week's challenge is quite interesting and trying to understand it I'm, I I tried to explain it to a friend who is a software engineer and it it was kind of new to him so we explored together and that that solidifies uh, what I've learned. And it also it also made me see the places I'm, I have knowledge gaps in. So that was that was interesting. I submitted. I I got my GitHub for running DVC CML. So, and it was yesterday that I managed to actually implement CML, and that was fun too. I can actually I can I can I can put up a report during during pull requests and. I can also uh, I can also compare metrics with 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 one pull request before matching. So that was that was that was a new one for me. As for Ada, Ada, Ada has been very very helpful. She reinforces my belief in job searching because you you have to tweak your projects and. And CV to to match the the requirements stuff like that. But one one new thing that I learned from her is the part of freelance. I haven't actually thought of that until she mentioned it. 
uh, my whole thought has been uh, conventional employment. So uh, at that time, mentoring freelance made me made me want to made me want to uh, find more information on that concerning yeah. data roles. So that was it for me. We can talk about freelance <clears throat> later on. I think we should just freelancing is in many ways harder. So just be aware. Um, it's not. It yeah. sounds great, but it's uh, the analogy we often use is that uh, a job is like a relationship or a marriage, and freelancing is just having fun. So you have to know what you're getting into. Yeah. Okay. Anyone else who wants to go before we stop recording and get onto the hot seat? I think I feel like I'd mentioned one more person, but the name is escaping me. Anyone else want to update uh, the group on who on how they're doing? No. Okay. So I'm going to ask the team to stop recording so that we can ask, put Fisesha on the hot seat, ask him to turn his uh, video on, comb his hair, and um, let's queue up the questions. I would I would recommend.